In the main event of UFC London, we have a heavyweight fight with high stakes on the line as we have Tom Aspinall taking on perennial top heavyweight Curtis Blades looking to cement himself as the truth as a lot of people believe that Tom Aspinall still has a lot to prove and uh, if he's out, able to go out there and beat a guy like Curtis Blades, he'll definitely be able to prove that to all the naysayers. However, my money and my eyes are set on a fight that actually opens up the main card down at light heavyweight between Volkan Uzdemir and Paul Craig. Paul Craig currently finds himself on a six fight unbeaten streak, which obviously includes that majority draw that he went to against Shogun Hua in their first fight. But obviously he was able to get true vengeance in his next, or at least in his rematch against Shogun Hua, forcing Shogun to tap to strikes in the second round of their fight when he just overwhelmed him with his pace, his grappling, and ultimately his jujitsu, which is normally his calling card to be able to get his hand raised in his fights. Last time around, we saw him uh, take a shit kicking from Nikita Krilov for about four minutes before he eventually got that trap or sprung that trap of his triangle choke, caught Nikita Krilov slipping, got that triangle choke going, eventually got the tap, and he got his hand raised. Before that, we obviously saw him go out there and snap the arm of Jamal Hill, and that was the last time I actually chose to fade Paul Craig as a lock of the night play that I had on Jamal Hill that night. Unfortunately for Jamal Hill, showed a little bit of fight IQ issues in regards to playing in the guard of Paul Craig, allowing Paul to get that position to snap his arm and then ultimately get the finish the way that he did. Now we kind of know the uh, the game plan of Paul Craig, right? It's to put that pressure on you, try to drag the fight to the ground and get his jujitsu going. He's obviously trying to shore up his striking skills, but he'll definitely be at a deficit here against a guy like Volkan Uzdemir. Volkan you know, on a bit of a rough run himself, but you got to look at the level of competition he's been going up against, considering he's on a two-fight losing streak to the now champion Yuri Prohaska in a fight where he had tremendous success in that first round before getting caught with that power of Yuri in round two. And then obviously in his last fight, he goes out there and gets outworked by Magomed Ankalaev, who is arguably the number two guy in the world right now, who has his own big fight coming up next week against Anthony Smith. Now Volkan Uzmir, when he's at his best, he's able to put opponent's lights out. That's why he came up with that nickname for himself, No Time, because he normally is able to get his, his opponents out of there relatively quickly. But even when he doesn't, he's able to go on, go out there and showcase a solid 50-minute performance in terms of you know his striking, his kicking game, and his ability to keep fights in the upright position. Against Magomed on Kalav, he stuffed three of four takedown attempts. Against Alexander Rakic in a, his last win, he stuffed eight of nine takedown attempts from Alexander Rakic. Both guys, Rakic and Ankalaev, guys that I believe have much better wrestling than what Paul Craig brings to the table. We see it over and over again, right? Highly acclaimed jiu-jitsu guys, getting some good wins on the regional scene, make it to the UFC, probably beat a couple of the lower level guys. But once they start taking steps up in competition, they start to fall because they're not able to get fights to the ground. With Paul Craig, he always finds his way to finagle himself into a submission of some sort, right? The Magomed Ankalaev one is a perfect example where he's getting his ass kicked for almost 15 minutes before he pulls off that last minute submission and gets the tap from Ankalaev. And then obviously the Nikita Krilov fight last time around where he's taken some big, big shots from that ground and pound of Nikita Krilov, but one little slip off from Krilov allowed uh, Paul Craig to go out there and get that submission lock up that triangle choke and take home a victory. I do not see Volkan Uzdemir falling victim to any of that. I do think he has great fight IQ. I think he'll be able to keep this fight standing. I think the work that he's been getting in over at the All-Star Gym in Sweden with guys like Alexander Gustafsson and Hamza Chmaev, all that experience is going to come to fruition for him here as he goes out there. And I think he finds a knockout of Paul Craig. I think he eventually finds that chin and puts him to sleep or he can at least go the full 15 minutes if he needs to put on his big power put on good combinations get the output going and that should be enough for him to get his hand raised i think we're getting a gift of a line here at minus 155 taking into consideration the two fight losing streak of Vulcan, as well as the six fight unbeaten streak of paul craig i think that's why we're getting this number and i'm taking full advantage of it I'm glad that you guys checked out the video. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are looking forward to watching a full card breakdown of this card, you guys can check out the link in my description below to my full podcast called the MMA Lockcast, where I go through all 14 fights on UFC London. 
so make sure you guys check it out there and lastly if you make sure you guys check out the patreon link to that is in the description below five bucks a month great content on there and a great discord community as well appreciate you guys checking out the episode and that is why Vulcan Uzdemir is my lock of the night for UFC London